Hello Popcorn Junkies! It's betwixt Christmas and New Year. Stay tuned to the channel, you will be getting your top 10 films of the year and your top 10 or your top 5 or your worst 5 or your bottom 5, top 10, top 5, bottom 5 films of the year. So this is a trailer reaction. Uh, we wanted to do this earlier in December but uh, we just didn't find the time. Um, this is Beverly Hills Cop 4 or Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. And if anyone who is a Beverly Hills Cop fan remembers, Axel F is obviously the character played by Eddie Murphy, but it was also that infamous tune, wasn't it, by, by Harold Faltermeyer that I had the seven inch single of. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so Beverly Hills Cop. Everyone loves Beverly Hills Cop, the first film. It was, for me, it was a kind of carry on or a carry over of what I liked about uh, Eddie Murphy from Trading Places. Um, you know, there was a couple of other films as well around the time, but Trading Places, he kind of, he sort of was just launched into the stratosphere, wasn't he? And Beverly Hills Cop was a kind of very entertaining, very of its time, 80s movie. When was the first one? 1984. It was kind of quintessential kind of cops, but it had this kind of a slightly anarchic, kind of stand-up-esque kind of cheekiness that was Eddie Murphy. Obviously, Eddie Murphy has kind of morphed and changed and transformed into a different actor over throughout his life. Beverly Hills Cop 2 didn't really do the same thing. Beverly Hills Cop 3 really didn't do the same thing. And now we've got Beverly Hills Cop 4 or Beverly Hills Cop Axel F coming to Netflix uh, with Eddie Murphy and also uh, resurrecting many members of the original cast. But, and this is a big but, this is now about Axel F, Eddie Murphy, uh, and his relationship with Taylor Page, or the, uh, his daughter, uh, Jane, played by Taylor Page. Um, Taylor Page, if you don't know who Taylor Page is, she was brilliant uh, as Zola in that uh, brilliant indie film alongside um, Riley Keough. She was just sensational in that. So Taylor Page is playing his estranged daughter. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is in there. I, I don't know why I think about Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, I, I don't know. He seems quite sort of automaton-like in most of his roles. Uh, but some of the originals are in there, like Judge Reinhold. <laughs> Classic Judge Reinhold, sort of staple of the 80, of 80s cinema. John Ashton, who was Judge Reinhold's kind of partner. Paul Reiser, Brilliant. He also played the dad in Whiplash and introduced that whole concept of chucking, what was it, M&Ms into popcorns or chocolate raisins into popcorns. Um, Bronson Pinchot, who was an incredibly sort of camp, extravagant sort of character who sort of, I know, caused quite a few laughs in the first film. Kevin Bacon's in there too. So... Do we have high hopes for this? I fancy a bit of a nostalgic trip down memory lane. Could this do for Beverly Hills Cop what Top Gun Maverick did for Top Gun? Could we be, could, could we just be in the right place for a bit of 1980s cops and robbers nostalgia? Um, or is Eddie Murphy immeasurably changed? Has he sort of become such a sort of mature prospect? Does he lack that childish, childlike, impish cheekiness that sort of, in a sense, defined the first Beverly Hills Cop film? So let's check this out. Left. I almost admire you. Still on these streets. Running and cutting. I'm just amazed. Doesn't get to you. Watch your ass out there, okay? I'm gonna be fine. They love me at Beverly Hills. Detective Foley. You ever read your own files? Shootouts. Serve the peace. A lot. Please tell me you didn't get arrested again. Twice, but I broke out. We put our lives on the line. Every day. And for what? I'm good to job if you're doing it right. So how many people are going to be pissed off so far? Well, I haven't pissed off anybody. Yeah, 50-50. Is it that high? So far, wow. Did anyone else think Judge Reinhold looked like Mickey Rourke there? Okay, first issue... He looks so much more serious. He looks like a man who's lived a life. He looks like a man who may have a few regrets. He looks like a man who maybe doesn't want to do this again, and yet is throwing in just enough of a cheeky grin. Do you remember there's that kind of moment from the first film? I think that was the poster, wasn't it, for Beverly Hills Cop? It lacked that kind of improv ad lib chaotic humour, didn't it? I didn't feel the energy was there. So you wonder whether, has, has Eddie Murphy said yes to this, as long as it's a bit more serious? And that's always a mistake, isn't it? Don't let it get too serious. So it didn't feel silly enough for me. It didn't feel bright and breezy enough for me. 
But could I be wrong? It's a teaser. It's a teaser trailer. What do you think? Are you excited about it? Do you think we can revisit this? Or is it done? Is it dusted? And is Eddie Murphy just a different type of performer now?